Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to intercut footage shot on a spherical and anamorphic lenses on Red Epic in Premiere CS6. We first import the footage into Premiere CS6. So here are the two imported files we'll be working with. The footage on the left was shot using Canon glass. The footage on the right was shot using Loma anamorphic lenses. So we begin by setting the sequence Okay, so I already know the sequence settings. I shot in Epic 5K widescreen mode in uh, 23.976 frame rate. However, it really doesn't matter even if you don't know what the sequence settings are because CS6 can automatically detect if the footage does not match and it adjusts this accordingly. So in this case, I just chose a random setting. So as soon as you bring the footage onto the timeline, CS6 will automatically give you a warning telling you that the footage uh, does not match the sequence settings. As you can see, the sequence settings have automatically been adjusted to Red Epic 5K widescreen. So basically what we're trying to do here is using the sequence settings for widescreen, we want to be able to also um, intercut between footage actually shot on anamorphic. So all we need to do now is simply adjust the footage shot on anamorphic lenses. So basically the only thing that I changed in the anamorphic footage is the scale. At 78% we only see the black bars on the top and the bottom. I found the ideal setting to be at 80% where we get rid of all the black bars. So here are the export settings. The aspect ratio is 2.371. In fact when you capture footage in Epic 5K widescreen mode the aspect ratio is actually 2.371 so this is pretty close so what we see here is on the top is the raw file and on the bottom is the exported file the anamorphic footage is cropped uh, on the sides but it's pretty negligible so here's the exported file with the two clips back to back